God says, this world is filled with sadness, pain, and hurt. But, it is also filled with joy, wonders, and beauty. Turn most of your attention to the goodness that this world has to offer. And use the pain of this world to your benefit. Allow it to help you grow. I love you. Dear God, I come before you today with a humble heart, grateful for the gift of a new day. Thank you for your constant presence and unwavering grace. As I navigate through the challenges of this day, I seek your wisdom and strength. Please forgive me for any shortcomings, and guide me in making choices that align with your will. Please grant me the patience to face difficulties and the kindness to extend to others. In the midst of the business, help me find moments of joy in the simple blessings around me. I appreciate your guidance, Lord, and I place my trust in your loving hands. Thank you for being my source of strength and peace. In your gracious name, I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, today, we pray for those feeling overwhelmed. In moments of pain and confusion, we sometimes doubt your presence. But today, we affirm that you're always there, you know our hearts are crying, and you are listening, understanding, and attentive to every prayer. Acknowledging that growth requires facing challenges, we trust your guidance. Every season is significant, and in each, you cultivate beauty. Lord, please grant us wisdom to understand and find peace, knowing you're constantly watching, caring, and guiding us. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. If you feel God is good to you, please say Amen with me. Lord, thank you for pouring endless love and grace into my life, whether it's the light of each new day or the peace of the evening. I'm thankful for the various aspects of my busy life, the warmth of family, and the friendships among friends. Help me maintain gratitude for all aspects of life, never forgetting your constant care amid life's small troubles. May I deepen my understanding of your abundant love and mercy. If God is important in your life, declare Amen. God never wastes pain. Jesus warned his disciples that we would have trouble in this life. We're not immune to the effects of living in a sinful world. Sickness, loss, trials, and a multitude of other challenges can cause us to doubt God's purposes. Why, Lord, we ask, and wonder if God is cruel. Or, worse yet, that he doesn't care at all. The Bible assures us that while we may not understand why, we can hope in the promise that God never wastes pain. He always uses it to accomplish his purposes in our lives. I'm sending this to you tonight because I wanted to remind you that you're deeply loved and seen by God. I know you have been going through it, the anxious thoughts have been overwhelming you. I know that it's hard to feel like God cares. He does. He cares for you. He cares about the trials you're facing and He is right there with you, holding you together. Every tear you cry is held in His hands. Even when it feels like no one hears your prayers, your Heavenly Father listens. He listens and He loves you. Sometimes, healing makes you realize that the only answer to disrespect, betrayal, or any negative situation is distance. You choose to walk away because you no longer want to react, argue, 
or fight to prove your point. Instead, you simply prefer to remove yourself from the conversation and the situation that affects your peace of mind. God is saying to you today, I know a lot of things aren't going well in your life right now. There seems to be nobody there to help you. Hold on. I'm about to fulfill my promises to you. Hold tight to me, and I will take you where you need to go. I will take you further than you could ever imagine. I did not bring you this far to fail you now. It may be rough, but I still have a plan. All who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgraced, those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish. Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. Those who wage war against you will be nothing at all. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Isaiah 41 13 But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. O Lord, if you heal me, I will be truly healed, if you save me, I will be truly saved. My praises are for you alone. Jeremiah 17 verses 7 and 14 most relationships taught me the more chances you give a person, the less they value you. They aren't scared to lose you because they know no matter what, you won't walk away. Never let anyone get comfortable with disrespecting you. Love yourself and choose distance over depression. Therefore, it was necessary for him to be made in every respect like us, his brothers and sisters, so that he could be our merciful and faithful high priest before God. Then he could offer a sacrifice that would take away the sins of the people. Hebrews 2 verse 17 Gracious God, as we enter this new year, we reflect on the blessings of the past year. Thank you for your faithfulness and love. Help us cherish moments, learn from challenges, and live each day with gratitude. Amen. Once, a man was asked, what did you gain by regularly praying to God? The man replied, nothing, but let me tell you what I lost, anger, ego, greed, depression, insecurity, and fear. Sometimes, the answer to our prayers is not gaining but losing, which ultimately is the gain. God, help me to guard my heart and mind. Teach me how to say no and set healthy boundaries. I pray you fill me with your strength and confidence to be able to create a life filled with joy, peace and love. Remove the toxic from my life and replace it with your truth. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus, thank you for your life on earth. Thank you for giving us access to your wisdom, guidance, and teaching. As we go through life together as your followers, help us to encourage and remind each other of your word. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to worship and praise you together. In Jesus' name, Amen. This is why I remind you to fan into flames the spiritual gift God gave you when I laid my hands on you. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. 2 Timothy 1 verses 6 to 7. When God sends you the right person, you'll know. They won't come into your life with drama, confusion or stress, but with peace, confirmation and love. They will look at your soul, not your flaws. 
You'll feel safe and familiar. Hold on to them when they come. Type Amen to affirm. But you are not like that, for you are chosen people. You are royal priests, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 Give yourself more credit. You're trying to grow while trying to heal. You're trying to forgive while trying to grieve. You're trying to search while trying to let go. And you're trying to love others while remembering how to love yourself. You are doing the best you can. 1 John 3:18. Dear children, let's not merely say that we love each other, let us show the truth by our actions. Our actions will show that we belong to the truth, so we will be confident when we stand before God. Even if we feel guilty, God is greater than our feelings, and he knows everything. Lord, grant me the patience and trust to wait upon your perfect timing. I may not understand your plan, but I know it is filled with hope and a future. Help me to rest in the assurance that your ways are higher than my ways. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. John 16 verses 23 and 24 I tell you the truth, you will ask the Father directly, and he will grant your request because you use my name. Amen. For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. Ephesians 2 verse 8